AMD FSR 4 coming to 30 plus games at launch. AMD shares official performance estimates of RDNA 4 GPU. And lastly, AMD Radeon RDNA 4 officially presented in China with pricing. Firstly, from video cards, we have a total list, list of the AMD FSR 4 game support. So first, we have the AMD FSR compatibility list here, which is the AMD Radeon RX 9000 series only because it only supports temporal upscaling, AML-based upscaling, native AM mode, and frame generation so obviously frame generation and native AM mode supported back to FSR 2 and FSR 3 but ammo based upscaling is missing in those so only FSR 4 supports machine learning and obviously AMD Radeon RX 9000 series will have AI accelerators to run RDNA 4 to run FSR 4. We have all bunch of game lists here, 35 game lists. So let's look into this. First, we have the games that launch. These are the games that will be launching day one. So let's look into it. The altars we have not didn't really heard about it. Bell Wright, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This is a popular game, of course. So this, this is gonna be interesting. Creatures of Ava, Dragon Kin, The Banished, Endoria. I'm not really seeing that many games that are like popular maybe like god of war ragnarok that is a popular game horizon zero done remastered and horizon forbidden west so that's pretty good hunt showdown 1896 is also there we have marvel's rivals marvel spider-man 2 spider-man remasters spider-man miles morales that these are some good titles monster hunter wilds is also a good title and there are many other titles here we have the remnant 2 last of us part 1 last of us part 2 remastered until dawn warhammer 40,000 space marine that's a pretty good title and of course civilization 7 so these are the titles we are looking at that will be coming with fsr 4 and they are not that bad but i would want more popular you know titles in this game popular titles for fsr so that you know people can enjoy more so that's not bad next up we have some information about the rx 9070 and 9070 xt benchmarks of course especially 9070 xt this time around so as you can see we have this particular post in chappelle and as you can tell this is a 9070 xt this was basically was showcased in amd china so that's pretty interesting that this is only china exclusive for some reason but they didn't really you know make it a bigger launch which is kind of surprising i thought they would be you know doing a different kind of event for the 1970 1970 xt but i guess they're not really doing anything which kind of tells me that this launch isn't really that great but the benchmarks says otherwise though so let's look into those because the benchmarks is looking pretty good as you can see in the picture here we have the amd radeon rx 9070 xt versus rx 7900 gre they're comparing gre for some reason but i guess it will give their narrative a better look but as i said the performance isn't that bad it's pretty good when you hear the pricing of course we'll come to it later but let, let's look into these price this performance here we have the 42 percent in 4k ultra versus the 7900 gre so this is not a bad performance at all like this is a very solid performance and the op says the raster is at 5070 ti 40 80 super level so basically rx 9070 xt is competing with 5070 ti that is without a doubt what's gonna happen so basically they're talking about fsr2 you know so fsr4 will be coming with amd radeon rx 9070 xt so yeah i mean probably fsr4 is gonna do some heavy lifting here just like dlss4 so we'll see about that but we're not gonna talk about that right now the in general performance is not looking that bad so let's look at some zoom in images here let's just zoom in although these images are not that great we have some benchmarks here i can't really tell which game is what i can only understand this is f124 and compared to 7900 gre it's getting 66 percent so that's not bad and usually f1 2024 benefits amd gpus it likes amd drivers for some reason so we'll see we'll see why but yeah this particular game is getting the most performance out of it the rest of the games are not really notable because i can't really understand what's going on but we do have video cards sharing this particular information basically comparing average 30 plus games coming from amd of course and as you can see amd radeon rx 9070 xt versus 
7900 GRE at 1440p was 38%. At 4K, it was 42% what we just saw right there. 9700 XT versus the 6900 XT is 51% uplift. So definitely a good upgrade for sure. 9700 XT versus 3090 is 26%. So it is still beating 3090, which is expected, obviously, at 4K. RX 9070 versus 7800 GRE at 1440p ultra settings was also 20% which is kind of conflicting but then again that's okay because 9070 should be performing around that level because it will be competing with 5070 i think so gaining 20 percent more performance versus the 7900 gre is kind of expected i expected more but also in at 4k it is 21 percent. so the scaling is pretty good not gonna lie the scaling is looking pretty neat as for the 16800 xt we're looking at 38 percent performance uplift at 4k and versus the 3080 we're looking at 26 percent at 4k so these performance gains are not bad but i would like a better comparison like a 4080 like comparison or like a 4070 like comparison or maybe even like 5070 like comparison maybe when it really launches but i can tell just by looking at these performance here that the rx 9070 xt will be perform performing just like 5070 ti or maybe even a little bit bit better we'll see about that ray tracing completely no idea definitely and as for the 9070 however it should be performing performing a bit better than the 5070 because these performance charts do suggest that so i guess we'll see if they can deliver especially in ray tracing because they need to improve that and of course lastly we have some pricing information and boy oh boy this is a really good pricing well i would say like a very competitive one definitely because as you can see right over here 4999 rmb which without tax it should be 599 basically 600 dollars so as you can already tell that this particular picture here loading we are getting 499 or 4999 basically uh 599 and also we're looking at rx 9070 pricing which is 4499 should be 549 right that should be the case without a doubt so this is cheaper well rx 9070 xt should be cheaper compared to 5070 ti because there's another rumor from hxl as you can see right over here 5070 ti in china should be 6299 so 9070 xt is cheaper than the 5070 ti clearly because 599 versus maybe like 700 dollars possibly if they can deliver the performance which we are seeing that they will and if they can also deliver some good performance performance in ray tracing and also in fsr4 then i would say 9070 xt might win the middle mid, mid, mid range market that's pretty much the guess as for the 9070 it's kind of confusing because the positioning of the rx 9070 compared to the rx 9070 xt is kind of it's not a huge gap there so i'm kind of worried that 9070 might be dead on arrival but 9070 xt might win because you know there's not a huge gap in pricing also in performance maybe like a 20 percent or 10 percent or even 15 percent so i'm kind of you know conflicted about the rx 9070 as for the rx 9070 xt it's looking not that bad